Yes, yes, this plague serum looks exactly... Oh, oh, hello. Uh, I am just your normal average Maison Lab scientist engaged in safe science. This was definitely not a plague serum. I'm just having a good joke with you. Anyway, I've heard you would like to hear more about the Maison Labs and the amazing work we do to make the galaxy a safer place. I'll hand over to my colleague now to tell you more. Goodbye. Hello, thank you to that absolutely normal Maison Lab scientist there for introducing this video. Uh, and basically I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the Maison Labs in Dead Zone. So I will explain a little bit of their history and then we'll go for some tips and tactics for how you might want to play them when you get them on the tabletop. So first up, the Maison Labs are sort of a real mix actually of a faction because you've got elements from the plague and you've also got elements from the GCPS. And the reason for that is that in the distant past, the Maison Labs was probably actually a fairly normal average corporation and they were tasked with sort of finding solutions and cures for all the different viruses and things like that that the GCPS encounter as they get further and further out into the reaches of space. However, that was a long time ago. And since then, they've sort of been given their own sort of agenda, I guess, or they've started to develop their own agenda to look more into specifically how the plague works and how that might be weaponized. So that's why you see a lot of test subjects on the battlefield when you're using the Maison Labs. So this means you've got a mix of plague victims, aberrations, that sort of thing, alongside normal kind of GCPS security guards, even lab techs that are there to analyze the results as the kind of Maison Labs are, are kind of running wild and the plague victims are basically attacking everyone. So they're a really interesting faction in that sense, in terms of their history. Uh, I like to think of them a bit like a, a horror faction, really, because you've got elements of the undead with the, the plague victims, a bit like zombies. You've got the mad scientists, like the lab techs. You've got Dr. Lucas Kroiner as well, the kind of multi-armed scientist. Um, and then you've also got recently introduced, you've got elements like cyborgs, so a bit like Frankenstein. Uh, and then you've got monsters like the Crastivore as well, this sort of weird alien giant spider. I definitely think as we kind of look to the future of Maison Labs, that's an angle we'll probably see more of. You know, we'll, we'll have more kind of the horror element creeping in. So uh, as well as the plague, you were obviously kind of one of the most uh, kind of standard kind of horrible factions in Dead Zone. I think we'll start to see Maison Labs edge that way as well. But if you do want to run them as kind of a, a normal kind of corporation, I suppose, you can use more of the, the Blackwing, uh, the Blackwing Urbana Rangers. You've got the uh, security guards and then you've got the TAC drones as well. Uh, even striders, they've got access to striders. Uh, now, why a kind of, you know, sensible uh, science division would want striders is anyone's guess. Uh, and the idea is, is are they keeping things out or keeping things in? So that's a little bit of the history uh, of the Maison Labs. And next, I'll give you some tips of what you might want to do when you're playing them as well. So as mentioned in the history of the Maison Labs, actually their play style is very similar too, in terms of you need to combine the best of the GCPS with the sort of play gribblies that you have access to as well. So to really get an effective strike team, you've got to use the synergy of these two play styles to basically overwhelm your opponent while you're offering support from like the Rangers and the security guards. A good example of this, for example, is Commander Graves because he's got a command splat that allows you to basically pin your enemy, which will kind of make them hunker down while you can kind of close in with the plague victims or the aberration or even the crastivore as well. So again, that's an example of using two quite different play styles to good effect. Uh, as well as the plague and GCPS, you've got the addition of cyborgs. So this is something new for third edition and again gives you a different option for a slightly more resilient unit they are definitely not 
the reanimated corpses of previous Maison Lab staff that have been fired for insubordination. They're just people that they've uh, volunteered for the program, let's say. But anyway, the cyborgs, you've got different options. You've got the alpha, the beta, uh, and then you've got the cyborg prime as the leader. Now, across the board, these have all got armor one and resilient one, and they're survivor five plus, which actually means they're tough to shift. So get them on an objective, kind of stand there for as long as you can, and hopefully you'll survive long enough to claim that objective in the game. I think one thing that may catch people unaware is Maison Labs are surprisingly fast too. And you've got this in two ways. Um, the Rangers have Scout, which means you can kind of deploy, you can deploy them and then move them up slightly closer to your enemy. So you're putting pressure on the enemy from turn one, particularly when you've got things like the Flamer as well, which normally only has a range two, but obviously if you can move up slightly with a scout move, you might be within range to start shooting as well. You've also got the Crastivore, so the big gribbly spider, and that's got a speed of two, three, uh, and he's very, very good in combat. So you wanna get that up quite quickly. So you're putting pressure on the enemy straight away. So they're dealing with that while everything else is moving up and attacking as well. Finally, if you do want some long range backup, then you've got the added option of the TAC drones. So this is something again from the GCPS list. And I guess Maison Labs struggles a bit with ranged weapons, particularly kind of decent ranged weapons as well. But the TAC drones can offer you that little extra bonus because they've got like the missile launcher and the heavy assault rifle as well. So you can kind of su start suppressing your opponent. So they're really good options as well. So they can sit on the back line again while everything else is moving up and hopefully claiming those objectives. So there you go. I think Maison Labs is definitely one of the really interesting factions in the game. I think before now, because they haven't had a dedicated starter and the only way to get them was through the Star Saga set, um, not many people have used them. So not many people may know how to deal with them. So uh, why not pick yourself up a starter when they're out in July? and start doing some perfectly safe science in the name of bettering the galaxy.